guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a makeup haul that I've kind of collected over two weeks. So most of the stuff is from Christmas and then a couple of the things I bought today and a couple of the things I bought like yesterday. I'm really excited about all these products, so let's get into it. Oh, this jacket is from Elle and I got it, got it at a thrift store for $5, by the way. Okay, so the first thing that I got that I'm so, 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 so excited for and really, really happy about is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. Anastasia? Um, all these colors are so pretty. My favorite one so far is the Buron Fresco. Yeah. I use that one pretty much every day now. I'm not wearing it right now. Yeah, a lot of the colors are like pink, purple, nude, brown based, which is like my range. So this is like the product I'm so, so, so excited to use. Um, in my everyday makeup. And maybe I'll do like a little video on like modern renaissance looks. And so, yeah, just try it out, I guess. Make some new looks. Okay, next thing that I got is Chanel eyeshadow, which I'm kind of excited about. Never had Chanel anything before, so it has like this little bag. It's like matte velvet. But this is what the packaging looks like. It has this little Chanel thing right there. So it has one color, but it's kind of like this like purple, silver, um, glittery kind of eyeshadow like it's definitely not matte it's definitely um like a over glitter kind of eyeshadow so it's definitely like a almost like definitely one more time so it's like a like the top eyeshadow layer that you use but it's kind of cool i've never had chanel eyeshadow before so okay so the next thing that i got so i got these two clinique um lipsticks so this one's a little bit more red I can do a little test right here. This one's a little bit more red, and this one is more pink. Oh, that one's really pink, actually. But they're both from Clinique, which is a good brand. And uh, this one's technically like a lip balm, and this one's technically like a lipstick. But they're both colors, and I think they're both lipsticks. I'm trying to get more into lipstick, because I honestly have so much of it, and I don't use it. Like, at my school, like, People don't really wear lipstick, at like at least where I live. Um, so if I showed up like with lipstick on, it's kind of be kind of weird. Kind of be kind of weird. It would be kind of weird. Um, so this is probably gonna be like outside events, special events. But we'll see like how I can dress around it. Okay. So the next thing that I got is also from Clinique, and it's like this two-in-one eyeshadow. This one's supposed to be like a base, and this one's supposed to be like a color to your eyeshadow they're not super shiny but they're not matte so it's kind of like a semi shimmer kind of thing i don't know i've never had one of these i mean clinique is a good brand so we've got a little mirror too look at that yeah i'm excited to use this and see if it can be like maybe like a travel thing like if i just have one look throughout like if i'm traveling and like for a week and I just have the same look for a week and i don't have to bring like this giant eyeshadow palette. That's a good idea, Lindsay. And the next thing that I got is this concealer. It's a new concealer stick that I got. I used to use um, the L'Oreal, I think, like the um, concealer where you like paint it on, kind of. This is more of a stick. Oh, this is from Rimmel London. This is used to like hide my blemishes and stuff, and it's working pretty well so far. And I'm using it as a concealer that I would normally with like a non-blemish concealer, I guess. Um, so I'm putting it like under my eyes, on my nose. But yeah, it's working pretty well so far. It's like a drugstore thing. And um, it was cheap. It was $5. And if anyone was wondering, I am shade 1 in concealer. Yes, that is how white I am. The next two things that I got are these uh, two mascaras. This one is from Maybelline. It's called Great Lash. And this one is from... Lancome, and it's called Monsieur Big. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar, considering that this one's like drugstore and this one is high-end. Uh, the difference is that this one's a little bit more like volumizing in a sl slightly, slightly like clumpy way. And this one is a little bit non-clumpy. And this is the one that I have on right now. Um, but I do think this one lasts longer and this one doesn't last very long, considering um, we're like halfway through the day and it's a little bit flat than I would like it to be. Okay. Oh, this is a new thing for me. So I got this um, makeup remover lotion. I've never had this before and I don't really know how well it works like on a full face of makeup, but let me, let me just show you this real quick. I put it here 
and I rub it in on my like lipstick things that I did. Let's see. It's like taking it off. It's actually, it works. I didn't expect it to work like it does, but it actually works. And it's from Estee Lauder. Yeah, so like my lipstick is gone now and all I have to do is wipe it off. Is completely gone. So I'm pretty impressed by this. But I was wondering, like, if anyone has this product, that it, they've used it on like mascara, because that's the one thing I'm kind of concerned about. I feel like mascara would just get all over your face, and then you wouldn't be able to wipe it off and just be a big mess. Yeah. If anyone has this product, like, let me know if it works on a full face of makeup. And then the last few things that I got, I got today, and I'm so so excited about. <sighs> I got the Fenty Beauty Primer. So nice. It honestly looks like my shade of foundation. If my shade would be this color. What? Huh? What? It looks like my foundation right now because I'm so white. But it's not. It's a primer. It goes on every shade of skin. So what it does, it says it's like a softening primer. So I just wiped off my makeup and then I put this primer on. And it makes my hand look so soft and like matte and it's ready for Fenty foundation to be applied, which I will get one day. <coughs> the reason I didn't get it was because it was all gone. Basically, I just wanted Fenty products to see like what the Brave was about because I knew it was good. I just, I just wanted it for my own. And it's kind of expensive. This was $34. All honesty, it's, the price isn't bad, bad. Like it's not $50, which a lot of high-end brands do, but um, it's like a, the higher end because it is a high-end brand. But I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm really, really, really excited to use this in like everyday makeup. I think primer is really good. Like I just started using primer and it like prepares my face for makeup instead of just slapping on some foundation. Smells good too. Smells like Rihanna. You would know? I would know. So the next two things are also from Tay. Um, this one is called the Gloss Bomb, and it's basically like a tinted um, lip gloss, which I'm more into lip gloss than I am um, lipstick, but again, I'm trying to get into lipstick, so... But I'll, I'll definitely use this, we'll see. Because it does, it does have color. The one that I'm using right now has like no color. It's got kind of like this orange, very, very slight orange, nudish kind of color. I don't know, I haven't tried it on my lips yet or like on a full face of makeup because I just bought this today. And again, packaging is like top A1. Yeah, it's so nice. But I'll have to check back with you to see like how long these products actually last. Because, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, so I am really excited about using this product every day because I probably will. Okay, and then the last thing that I got today was um, Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Single. <gasps> oh, so nice. And it, it has like a little FB. Oh, that's so cute. And it feels like this packaging is like, I'm opening up like a space capsule or something. I don't know. Yeah, so this top one is the one that I just applied. It's like the lipstick. And it has a little bit of an orange tone too. I kind of, these two products have a little bit more orange than the Clinique lipsticks. But yeah, I really hope this like looks good on my skin tone. So I'm so white. But this is like on Rihanna's um, For Fenty Beauty. I'm really excited for this too. What am I not excited about? So that was everything that I got for like Christmas, this weekend, and today. I'm really excited to use all these products. I'm really happy that I got all these products. So thank you if you gave me anything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really, really love makeup if you can't tell. So I'm really hoping in the future I can do um, more makeup tutorials maybe or like makeup looks that I've created like with the modern renaissance or yeah I don't know just more makeup videos thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a like if you liked it um comment down below like your favorite product or if you have one of the products like if you like the product if you don't like the product and oh especially for this one let me know if, like this works with don't face makeup so I'll see you guys next time in a new video you should let me love you, let me be the one to give you